like I kind of understand the people that say I'm not voting this year because I feel like there's yeah, not yeah. anyone for me. And he yeah. encouraged me. He's like, you know what? You need to look down the ballot and yeah. look up those people. And my my uh, my ballot came in the mail. And then I did that. I started looking up people that were on the rest of the ballot. And, you know, it it was actually a little bit more uplifting. But, you know, what can you say to people um, when it comes to positions like what you're running for and, and yeah. anything else that's not just the president? Yeah, for sure. Especially like it's especially interesting because this conversation as you guys from Maryland and us, you know, from New York, it, it, it's a different dynamic as opposed to me speaking to someone from New York. Right. Sure. Um, but when it comes down to it, the things that affect us the most is local politics, is what's, you know, who is representing us directly, like the lowest level, right? And um, there are a lot of local folks that reflect what we envision or what we hope for on the general elections, right? And it, you know, everyone says things trickle down. Things also trickle up, you know, like what happens in local politics, all these decision making things have influence on the grand scheme of stuff. So if we could get local politicians that reflect our values, reflect uh, what we want, and then it, it could change the face of what we, we want for, from our neighborhoods, from our country. Uh, on, for, from, uh, and we start, have to start at the down ballot. And that's where we have the most influence, frankly. Like, you know, when it comes down to uh, like electoral politics, we have these um, you know, majority wins, right? And, and it, like New York is a blue state, and we know it's going to be a blue state regardless of what happens. Um, and when you vote in like primaries, when you vote in primaries in the local election, that's when you have the most influence. So it's a matter of like a couple of votes that could change the future of your entire neighborhood. And, and, and I encourage people to understand the process, understand, you know, as someone who's like 28 years old and just kind of like, I never knew how, like what it meant to run for office and all these little things. But, you know, if you could organize, you get your friends and family and the people who care about what's happening, you could change your entire neighborhood and have a decision making process and m make it more participatory, right? like move, remove that, that, um, political figure, not, we kind of like deify and celebritize like politicians. And, um, mm -hmm. and what we're trying to do with trying to do with this campaign is like, it doesn't matter about that individual It's about like us as a collective, what's happening around you, what's happening with your family, what's happening with your friends.